Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. This is a fully fan funded tiny house build brought to you by the Patreon supporters. If you're not a Patreon supporter, please go check it out. The link will be in the description below and consider becoming a monthly contributor to my channel and you will see this thing go a lot faster than it actually is going to go because it's a slow process. In this video, I'm going to show you how I separate the camper from the trailer. What the hell? So in this camper, there's a few things that I want to save. There is a stereo system in there, which is perfectly fine. It's got an AM, FM radio with a cassette player. Bonus, there's also this uh, propane stove. I'm going to save this. This might end up in the final product, as well as the, uh, the range vent. There is a double kitchen sink right here. I'm not going to save this, this faucet. It's kind of outdated, but the sink is perfectly fine for a tiny house. There is a bathroom sink that is really small would work perfect in a tiny house. There is a furnace right here. I'm gonna save it, but I don't know if it's actually gonna work, so I'll take it out easily. I won't destroy it. As well as this fridge is a propane fridge. I doubt this will make it in the final product. But pretty much everything else in this house is done, garbage. So once I get these key little pieces out of this tiny house, nothing else is getting saved. So I'm gonna go to town on this thing. I have a Sawzall with a bunch of Sawzall blades and a right angle grinder with a metal cutting disc. There is a large tank underneath this bench seat over here. I want to be careful with that because I don't know what's inside of it. Also, I don't know when the last time the, the septic system thingy or the black water tanks had been drained. So I need to be careful of that. There's two propane tanks inside there I need to take out. But I don't want to be cutting into anything that could possibly explode or injure me in any way. So I want to be mindful before I just start going crazy. But with, with that, there, there shouldn't be much in here because pretty much everything's disconnected. It's not connected to power. It's just a piece of shit now. And it, like it should just, it ain't gonna fall apart easily, is it? Oh, look at this. This was built in May of 1976. Ah! That is a perfectly good kitchen sink. It's already got some of the plumbing hooked up. This will most likely make it in the final product of this tiny house. So this will get stored somewhere safe. So that'll be a perfect kitchen sink. Not a kitchen sink, a bathroom sink. All right, so I've taken out everything that I want to save from this trailer. I got the stove, the sinks, you know what I've got. You saw me kind of take most of it out. Uh, any of the little pieces that were in cupboards and stuff that could be worth anything I took. So right now, what I'm going to do is start taking the windows out. Since there's glass and I don't want glass going everywhere, I'm going to try to be gentle with the windows. Remove those, put those to the side. Not going to be saving them. They're going to go into the dumpster. Uh, I'm going to take them to the recycle yard, see if they'll give me money for them. They might say, because of the glass, no. I don't know. They'll definitely take them. They just probably won't give me as much money as they would for this stuff. Uh, so right now I'm going to take the windows out and then I'm going to take as much of this outside sheeting that I can take out. While I'm doing that, Levi is going to be inside there going to town like a maniac, I think. I'm going to put a different mic on it. This thingy right here, so audio is going to change. Burnett, what do you say? I say nothing. Again, stupid idea. I don't need a doghouse. Well, I guess you can build one for you and one for me. That's okay. I'll do that. It sounds fun. Thinkies. You know what time it is? What's that? Destruction time. That would have looked really nice in your tiny house. Oh. You take this, and you put this underneath here, you just pry it. Okay. This is crazy. Don't get hurt, okay? Okay. Because I can't bring you to the hospital. Oh. You see these right here? Yeah, Watch break out. them. Watch. You take it like this and you just push it. What? That's fun. You were having fun. I'm not, not having that. fun. Man, it smells like piss in here. You okay? Yep, that's your 
million dollars, baby. A million dollars, baby. Come on. What is it? What is it? Rare earths, gold, something good. Come on, baby. What is it? Nothing. in there. Toothpaste, mouthwash, and dental floss. You better be saving that there. So I've taken out most of the windows and I've found the easiest way to do it. There is screws holding it in, but there's also silicone which makes this thing almost impossible to take out. So what I've been doing is taking an angle grinder with a metal cutting disc on it, cutting around, cutting the metal first, and then taking the sawzall I hit the and just cutting through the studs, cutting through the plywood on the inside of the house and just basically cutting the damn thing out because I'm not saving it and it doesn't matter what happens to the thing but it, it's the quickest and easiest way to take these pieces of glass out. Ready? Don't judge me, okay? Bam! Look at that. All the wood's out. Easy breeze, a beautiful cover girl. That is now scrappable. Motherfucking piece of shit! Yeah! Na na na. Na na na. Fixed it. I think it fixed it. It didn't fix it. I'm lying to you. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Ah. Oh. What did you get it on the fridge? I said they had this. That ain't gonna fit out the door. Uh, we gotta tip it on the side though. Keep it balanced right there, right? You got it? No, you don't got it. You got it? You got it? You don't have it. You have it? Don't drop it on me. This whole shit right here. Oh, we gotta get the glass out. Holy shit, I almost whacked you in the fucking head. Yep. That would have fucking hurt if I hit you. Oh, camera, camera! So this is day two of the demolition. My body is killing me. I don't know what the hell happened to me yesterday, but that was brutal. My goal today is to get this thing on the ground. I'm going to finish demoing inside. Then I will come take all the metal off because I want to scrap the metal. And then I will take a sawzall and run around the bottom of this thing. And hopefully we can just get it to topple over this way right here. And then I can strip the ceiling or the roof. And then burn all the wood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? I am 99% positive that I broke my pinky yesterday. It really hurts. Really hurts. People ask me all the time, why don't I just buy a camper and live in that? You see the quality that they build these things with? 
it's it's crappy it's horrible I mean this thing is one breeze away from falling over yeah I took a lot out but these things are crap Alright, so the inside is pretty much all demoed. And when I've seen people do a demo on these things, I'm like, why don't they just cut the damn thing and just rip it off? And the whole reason is, is because I want certain pieces. I want to save certain pieces. All this metal right here, this is aluminum. This is worth a lot of money. So I might be able to recoup every penny I spent so far on this aluminum. Um, so the better and, and cleaner I can take it off, the better it'll be for me. And especially if I can make like different metal piles. So I'll have steel copper and aluminum so what i'm gonna do is cut approximately every five feet and take off each panel i'll cut around anything that causes problems I kind of have a feeling that this thing is just going to fall over. I mean, sometimes you get the shot and then sometimes your battery dies on your camera and you don't get the shot that you wanted. And I believe that was the case here. That sucks that the camera wasn't filming for you. It really is. It's really upsetting. If I may just give you a small bit of advice, don't do this. Do not do this. So I'm gonna have to do so much work to this trailer, it's not even funny. The amount of hours that are gonna go into just getting a trailer that is structurally sound. If you gave me $10 an hour, that's probably what I'll end up making on it if I were to devalue that trailer at around $4,000. So no, not worth it. Save your money and buy a tiny house specific trailer. Now, I will plug a trailer manufacturer which I've done research on. I've never heard of a negative complaint. I personally would recommend Trailer Made Trailers. I'll put a link in the description where you can check them out and it will take you right to their tiny house trailer page, I believe. Hopefully they have one. If they don't, they probably should get one. Personally, I would go with a Trailer Made. Not this method, this is retarded. This is so stupid. Okay, I'm gonna go make a fucking stiff drink. You know, if you lived in the middle of nowhere, then you, I, you know, I'd probably just can of gasoline and a match, let it take care of itself. This is why it's called Terry. Terry, tiny house Terry 2.0. This will be in the house when it's finished somewhere. I've got two of them, so we'll try to do something creative with that. So this is day three of this massive, ridiculously hard project. Day three. I was supposed to do my windows, finish my windows and get them installed this weekend, but that didn't happen. This, this has been happening. My goal for today is to get this floor off. It's the only thing on this project that I don't really know how it goes on. I mean, I look at it and I know how it works now, but the whole process of doing it, I'm not quite sure. 
but I will take you along for that journey and then clean up and then make organizational piles. Aluminum, copper, steel, trash which would be plastic and the insulation. I won't be reusing this insulation. And then what else? I got one more pile. No, I'm forgetting one. Oh, and the wood. The wood is all getting burned. I have a big burn pile. I'm in this whole project. I've generally stayed pretty sober. But my body today is, is fucking killing me. Oh yeah, I'm getting fucking wasted today. See, I work a night shift job. And so I have to wake up at like 5 p.m. But I have switched my schedule, my sleep schedule, so that I could work on this this weekend. Tonight I'll go to bed at my normal hour, like, or you know, like 10 p.m. And then I'll sleep till noon, but then I'll wake up tomorrow with such a raging hangover that I'll just stay in bed all day. Perfect. And then at 7 p.m. when I gotta be at work, I'll be good to go. I know, I'm a fucking genius. So I wanna start separating this floor from the trailer. Now I've noticed that there's these quarter inch lag bolts. Every foot on the front here, and then they look like they're every four feet on the side or everywhere there's a outside piece coming out, a, um, an outlooker basically. So what I'm gonna do is take my angle grinder and cut this free and cut that one free. I'm hoping there's none running with the length of the beam, but we will see. All right, Pino, watch out. Man, already, look at this cut. You see that shit? Every day I've gotten a good one. What's that, man? Some titties and some ass. There could quite possibly be a fire going on right here. If you can see, most, most certainly is a fire happening right there. Oh yeah. Oh, that's fire, there's flames. No more fire. So I'm gonna cut these pieces into manageable chunks, probably like roughly four feet. I was thinking of using a circular saw, setting a depth. It'll destroy the blade and slightly ruin the saw, but I can always clean the saw up and fix that. I think I'll use a uh, jigsaw or sawzall, make a cut and see how good that goes. Now I have those two beams that run the length of the trailer. I don't want to cut into those at all. If you listen to the sawzall blade, you can kind of hear it hit it. So I'm just gonna be mindful of that. Even if I don't cut the wood completely around where that beam is, it's gonna be okay. I'll be able to snap those two points. This is the third cutting disc that I've stepped on and broke. Now they're extremely dangerous, cutting with that, like that. Whoever thought this was an ingenious idea is completely, how do I say this, as being politically correct as possible. I really can't say it without being politically correct, but you should get evaluated mentally because there, there is nothing beneficial by doing that. So that's it guys, a completely demo trailer. That took me many, many hours over three, four days. Today is kind of the fourth day. Uh, I've been running to the junkyard and to the scrap yard and all that stuff. So let's talk money. The trailer cost me $260. I spent about $40 in gas to go get it. Uh, I spent $10 on sawzall blades, $15 on grinder blades. I took one load to the dump, that was $15. That totals $340 for the trailer. I brought all the scrap metal that I had to the scrap yard and I got $70 for that today. Not what I thought I was going to get for it. I was hoping for a little bit more, 150 or something. But yeah, not, 
not what I thought I'd get for it. So in total, I have $270 invested into this so far, or my Patreon supporters do. I do still have some scrap metal that they won't take because it's connected to different materials. So I need to separate wood from aluminum and also the glass from the aluminum. So I still have all the windows and I still have a bunch of aluminum over here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I might try to smelt it and see how that goes. Now, of course, the price that you're gonna get from a scrapyard is gonna change from, from area to area. And I got 35 cents per pound on the sheet aluminum which was pretty good. And then I had Romex low grade wire, which would have been like all the wire that was really thin and plasticky. Uh, number one copper, which would have been just pure copper. The steel, I got six cents a pound, which was really crappy. And then I had like really dirty aluminum with like tar on it. I got 12 cents a pound on that. I can't really complain because no, I can. That was ridiculous. So when we come back to this project, I'm going to be cutting this up a little bit, adding some pieces on, welding it. I'm probably going to get it sandblasted and then paint it. And then I could start building off of it. But I kind of figure that the rebuilding of this trailer is going to be a couple episodes because I want to go into some better detail on why you shouldn't use this type of trailer to start your tiny house on, that you really need to add to it. And it's probably gonna push it into the $1,000, $1,500 range once I'm done, which will be better than buying a, a trailer, but I'm still not, still not a fan of this method. We'll see, hopefully, hopefully it all works out. But if you do wanna help support this build, please go check out my Patreon page. The link for that will be in the description below. Just a dollar a month, you're gonna get advanced access to all my content, as well as this project and also some behind the scenes type videos that won't be released onto YouTube. If you just wanna follow my progress on either this build or on my regular tiny house, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out videos twice a week right now. Don't forget to show that like button some love and leave your comments down below letting me know what you thought. And I will see you on the next video.